step five, and that's putting everything together. So we have the solutions to y1, y2, and y3, but we need to find what x1, x2, and x3 are, and also replace all these p, q values with the original ones, because remember the cubic equation is ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus uh, d. So in other words, we need, to, we need to have the terms a, b, c, and d inside, not this p, q, and stuff. So anyways, so recall, so recall like here, Let's find the values of P and Q. So recall from my earlier one, I'm just going to copy and paste that. So let's go all the way back up to the P and Q right here. So recall here, but also I, I just realized I made a mistake. Uh, this one here, uh, but it doesn't change the, the rest of the solution. It's just this, this right here. Uh, remember, uh, I went from negative B squared over 3A. Then I, then I suddenly added an extra 3 there. <laughs> this is actually a 2. So this is a 2, and that was a 2. Yeah, and then I just divide it by uh, A inside there. Yeah, I just divide it by A and A, so there'd be no, no, never change. So anyway, so that's a two there. I'll modify that in the in the video there, but again, it doesn't change anything because we used P Q the whole time. So the only time that we're using the the that the actual values is right now as we speak. So I just realized that mistake after I made this <laughs> this part uh, actually a couple times. Keep making mistakes. This is, again, this is very hard to do this with uh, <laughs> without making mistakes because there's just absolutely so many variables and so on, trying to do this all in a video. All right, so we have that, that's the, the terms right there. And and also recall the value, the substitution we used. So recall the substitution, or, or, or and, so writing uh, recall, I'll put and. Yeah, so and, let's go all the way back up to the substitution. And this is all the way over, uh, yeah, right here. So. The substitution right here, oh no, that's the original, this is the other one, this is the Vita substitution. Let's go to the one before, and that one is right here. So we use the substitution x equals y plus k, where k is equal to negative b over 3a. So in other words, x equals to y minus b over 3a. Let's go all the way back down. All right, so now we have this. So then we have x equals to y minus b over 3a. All right, so now we have this, so let's uh, solve this now for the first term. So the first one's going to be x1 is equal to y1 minus b over 3a, like that. So this equals to, well, what's our y1? Let's just copy and paste our y1 and scroll all the way back up to our y1. That's this one right here. So we take our y1. Whoops. Okay. All right, yeah, here I'm, uh, I'm back. I don't know why I just teleported, but anyways, so there's our y1. I'm gonna copy this y1, just make it easier. So there's our y1 from earlier. And let's uh, paste this right here. So I'm gonna paste this right here. So y1 is equal to three negative q over two uh, plus uh, all this. And then, and then we just subtract it by b over three a, like that. All right, so now we could uh, plug in all our values here. So so plug in all our P and Q inside, and we basically get our uh, stuff there. So this is going to have now our X1. I'm going to move it all the way down here. So X1 is equal to, well, the cubic root of now uh, the Q, uh, negative Q uh, over 2. So I'll take our Q. So I'll copy this Q. We'll paste the Q right here. And we're going to need to shrink it, and we'll make it everything look nice in a bit. Uh, shrink it a bit more, maybe. So there is our Q. And this is going to be a cube root. So this is our Q, but uh, this is going to be a negative, though. And also divided by 2. So the 2's cancel. It's going to be a negative. Whoops. This is going to be a negative. This is going to be a plus. This is going to be a negative. And this is going to divide by 2. So this is going to be 2a. This is 2a, this is going to be uh, a 6, and now the next one is, yeah, so that's what it is, because we're dividing by uh, this negative and a 2. So now we're going to do a plus, now we'll do a square root sign, so I'll make this bigger, we'll, we'll fix that up in a bit. Now that we add the q again, so paste this again, and now we're doing a q squared, so I'll, I'll move it like this, I'll put a bracket. We will square this, but also there's a divide by four, but that's a that's just two squared. So we could bring the two inside. So then bring the two inside. It will cancel all the twos. So this the twos will cancel. This will be a six. This will be a two a. So in other words, we have the exact same thing here. Whoops, this would be two a. This is exactly the same thing as this one. 
Let's fix these all up. Yeah, this is exactly the same as this, except there's a negative sign on these. This is a negative sign. So this is going to be B3 over 27A3. This is B3 over 27A3, but a negative. This is a plus. This is a negative. BC 6A squared. This is going to be uh, D over 2A. This is negative uh, D over 2A. So what we'll do is multiply this by, well, negative 1 squared. And this doesn't change anything because this is equals to 1. So we'll basically change it to a negative because you have a squared. It becomes positive anyways. So make this just so it's exactly equal to this one. So so just for... Uh, just to make it uh, uniform. So this is going to be plus. This is going to be minus. All right. So that's what we have there. Make this a bit smaller. All right. So that's what we have. And and we're still on this one here. And now that's going to be uh, plus uh, P cubed. So P cubed is this right here. Or, uh, yeah. So I'll just take uh, this. Um, yeah. I'll just write that down. So negative B squared over 3A. And plus c over a, a squared. So negative b squared over 3a squared. So this is going to be uh, bracket negative b over 3a squared. This is a squared. This is, yeah, b squared over 3a squared. And then this is going to be plus c over a. And now this is cubed. There's c over a. And now we're going to cube it right here. Cubed. Uh, but also there's a 27 there's divided by 27 that's just 3 cubed so we could divide this all out by 3 so in other words put those inside it's going to be a 9 and this one's going to be 3a like that all right so we have that now let's just fix up the uh, square roots and cube roots so this is going to be like this over that i'll make this uh, I'll, I'll write it from this right side so i could see my pen all right and now the next part is, I'll actually fix this up a bit better. It's right like this. All right, so we have that. And now this one right here is the cube root. This goes above it there. I'll, I'll fix this up. We'll do this one more time. All right, here is pause it and fix it up uh, like that. So there, there's that one. And that's just this part. Now we have to do the exact same thing. Yeah, now notice uh, there's the plus right here. So this one's a plus, And now it becomes a minus. Yeah, so that's a plus then a minus. In other words, right here, this is a plus right here. The next one we're going to have to do is a minus because this is in front of the square root right there. Yeah, so what we'll do is, and also we need to account for this uh, negative 3, uh, a negative b over 3a. So copy this. And again, I think it's the fourth time I had to redo this last uh, section, putting it together because I kept making mistakes. <laughs> yeah, this is absolutely impossible to put this all in order. Okay, so now we have this. And what I'll do is shrink this a tiny bit. Move this over, and this becomes a minus. That's the only thing different. This is exactly exactly the same thing. There's a, a cube root, a uh, negative q over two, etc. And then the only thing is this uh, plus. This becomes a minus, and then we have this uh, negative uh, uh, b over three a, and this becomes a plus like that. So plus that. All right. So there is our x one. Yeah, so there's x1. And now the x2 is uh, basically the exact same thing, so we have to apply the conjugate. So remember, this x1 is equal to y1 minus uh, b over 3a. Now if we go scroll back up, uh, y2, I mean uh, x2 is going to be equal to uh, just uh, y2 minus. So equals to y2 minus uh, b over 3a. And y2 is exactly y1, but we have these, uh, the complex, uh, uh, the, yeah, the complex uh, factors right there. This is this is W1, this is W2. Yeah, it's W1, W2, and W1 and W2's only difference is the, is the minus sign. So plus, minus, and these are exactly the same thing. Cube root, negative Q over 2, et cetera, blah, 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 yeah, dot, dot, dot. And, and, then, and then for uh, Y3, it's exactly the same thing. Instead of W1 and 2, we have W2 and W1. And W1 and 2's only difference is plus, uh, is, the plus is W1, minus is W2. So this uh, means... We could just call, copy and paste this whole thing and then and add the complex conjugates. Uh, or, I mean, the complex factors. Okay, let's copy this. We're going to copy this. We're going to have to make it a bit smaller. All right. It's going to be like this. This is going to be a bit smaller. Let's move this uh, in. It's a bit uh, slow because of, uh, <laughs> it just gets uh, more and more complicated once I have a million text. So we have this. I'll make it a tiny bit even smaller there. All right, so we have this. This part right here gets shifted to the right. Now this one is going to be multiplied by 
uh, the W1, which is negative 1 over 2, plus I squared 3 over 2, like that. So let's multiply by that. And now, uh, this part right here, we're going to shift this over. So shift this one over here, and we can just copy uh, this part right here. I'm going to move this a tiny bit out of the way. And uh, fix this up to so be a negative, uh, negative 1 over 2, like that. And uh, yeah, and this is better line like this. Uh, one more. All right, here, uh, yeah, so we have that. I'm going to move this uh, plus, put it right here, copy this one, and then uh, copy and uh, paste. Yeah, copy and paste it here, and then just change this into a minus sign to a minus. So for the W2, and this one is just a plus. And this is going to be our, our x2. So there, there's that one. Now the next part, and also this somehow didn't copy paste 3a. Okay, there's a 3a. So again, there's the plus, minus, plus, minus in here. There's a plus, etc. And this should be all, uh, I'll move this tiny bit to the left away from my uh, line there. All right, so this is it. And now the last one is just the easy one. Is just the x cubed, I mean the x uh, x3. So it takes a while to copy because it's <laughs> a million text. Or, or, or it still didn't copy the A there, but anyways. So paste this over. Yeah, so that is what we have. And uh, add this uh, last term, A. All right, so there's our A. This is going to be now uh, Y2. So it's a minus. This one's a plus. And that is it. <laughs> Yeah, so that's it. And now what, what I'm going to do is quickly just uh, double check from uh, that uh, big YouTuber. He puts the solution at the end. Uh, he, he didn't even go through it all. He just uh, added it at the end as a screenshot or just a, just a quick uh, image there. So basically double check. So here is our cubic equation AX cubed plus BX uh, squared plus CX plus D equals zero. So again, uh, double check and summary. And uh, so we have this cube root right here. Uh, negative B over 3, uh, 27 uh, A3 plus bc, 6a squared minus d uh, over 2a. That's this part right here. Yeah, and then we have this plus square within exactly the same term inside there, and then squared. And exactly, this is exactly the same thing as this, squared, plus now negative b squared divided by 9a squared plus c over 3a cubed. And then, uh, yeah, this part right here, cubed. And yeah, and then these ones are exactly the same thing, There's a, except this would be plus b minus, and there's a minus three, three, b over 3a. So plus, minus. And now this part here is the conjugates, this is the W1. Uh, so W1 is exactly the same as this, but now we have a negative one over two plus I times squared three over two. And then the next other one's gonna be the same thing, but a negative sign. And the other one's gonna be negative, and this is X3. Uh, so I copy and paste that, yeah, that's uh, X3. So this is a negative plus instead of plus or negative. All right, and this is gonna be negative, is plus, yeah, this is gonna be plus, negative, negative plus, and that's exactly the same thing as these right here, and there's again plus minus here, plus minus, and there's a negative uh, b over three. So yes, absolutely uh, epic, epic stuff. And uh, I might be the only one <laughs> on YouTube or in the world that has a video of putting this all together uh, like that. But again, I had a copy and paste uh, tool there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, with with one note instead of writing this all out.